Mathematical Scientist. Today we're going to be talking about mass and how mass is different than weight. Okay, so mass is the amount of matter or the amount of stuff that is inside of something. Weight is judged by how much force is pulling down on an object or more personally on your own body. So your weight can change depending on gravity, but your mass will stay the same because you still have the same stuff inside of you. The same amount of matter. It's time for vocabulary. Matter is anything that takes up space and has mass. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Weight is how heavy an object is. It's the force of gravity acting on our bodies and everything um, in this world. If you go to the moon, your weight is less because there is less gravity to pull you down. And that's how a scale works that you get weight on, is gravity is pulling you down on that scale, and that scale is registering uh, how much you weigh. We weigh things in ounces, milligrams, grams, pounds, tons, kilograms, all sorts of ways we weigh things. Gravity, the force that causes objects with mass to attract to one another. It's also the force that pulls us towards the center of the earth, and that is responsible for our weight, which weight is not the same as mass. Now let's take a look at our anchor chart and see if we can notice some of the differences between mass and weight. So here is our weight and mass anchor chart. So weight is the measure of the effect of gravity on an object. Okay, how much gravity is pulling down on that object or towards the center of the earth. Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. So when you look at the bottom of this anchor chart, you can see that on earth, someone weighs 115 pounds, but if they were in Pluto, their weight would be so much less. Look at how small that decimal point is. So, meaning that your weight is completely dependent on the gravity around you. Okay, your mass, you're going to stay the same size unless for some reason you get larger or smaller. Now let's watch a short video about mass and about weight. Mass and weight. Objective. To learn the concepts of mass and weight. Mass is a measurement of the amount of matter in an object. For example, a tennis ball will have a certain amount of matter in it, and so it has a certain mass. A basketball, which is bigger than a tennis ball, will have a different mass because it has more matter in it. Forces cause an object to move and increase its speed. In other words, force causes acceleration. If you push a wooden crate weighing 50 kilograms, it will move from one point to another, covering a small distance. If your friend joins you and both of you push the crate, its acceleration will increase and will move further, covering a greater distance. Objects with more mass are difficult to accelerate. If you both attempt to push a crate of 100 kilograms, which has more mass, the acceleration will be less. Let's learn about weight. Weight is a measurement of the strength of the gravitational pull on an object. A tennis ball will weigh about 58 grams, meaning the gravitational pull is acting on the ball. If you weigh 20 kilograms on Earth, gravitational pull of that extent is acting on you. The gravitational pull on the moon will be one-sixth of the Earth's gravitational pull. If you were to take the tennis ball onto the moon, you will weigh one-sixth of your actual 20 kilograms, just 3.3 kilograms, and the ball will weigh just 9.6 grams. Although your weight has changed on the moon, 
your mass will be the same because the amount of matter has not changed. Mass of an object will be the same everywhere, but the weight keeps changing with the gravitational force. If you are in space where the gravitational force is absent, your mass will still remain the same, but your weight will become zero, and you will float around like a balloon. The unit of mass is the kilogram, kg, although we usually use kg for weights. Weight is measured in unit of force, newton. Summary Mass is a measurement of the amount of matter in an object. Weight is a measurement of the strength of the gravitational pull on an object. The unit of mass is the kilogram. Weight is measured in newtons. As some of you may already know, or if you remember from class, typically when we're looking at the mass of an object or trying to figure out what it is, we use a pan balance. And we put weights that have certain kilograms in one side, and we put our object in the other, and we determine that object's mass. We're going to do a little activity here after this, uh, doing that very thing. Right here you can see our pan balance. And so we have a tennis ball on one side and I am taking these little weights that each have uh, how many grams are on them and I'm trying to see what the mass of this tennis ball is. So I'm continuously adding the weights until I get the pan balance to actually balance. So that was too much right there so I gotta take off so now I have too little. I don't have my mass correct yet. Still not quite right. Sometimes it's a very tedious process. So I'm waiting for them to be even with each other. Oh, too much there. So now I have to take this 5 off and start adding some 1s. 1 gram. Bingo. Looks like I got it there. Now I need to add all those pieces together to see what my answer is for the mass of this tennis ball. So I'm going to click on the question mark, select 57, that's correct, I'm going to move on next. This activity is on discovery. So I see this apple, and to me the apple is going to be much more massive than a tennis ball, so I'm already starting out with more grams. And look, even at 75 I'm not quite there. And look at that. So now I have created them to be equal, and now I need to figure out how many pieces I have, add them together, and I get 150. In conclusion, weight and mass are different. Weight is the gravity's effect on you. So wherever you're at in the universe, depending on the level of gravity there, you're going to weigh more or you're going to weigh less. Mass is not changed no matter where you're at because that is what is inside you, what you're made of. So if you go to the moon, Pluto, or anything, you're still made up of the same stuff. You didn't grow or shrink. You still have the same amount of mass. However, if gravity is not pulling on you, you are not going to have very much weight, if any at all. Up next is the exit ticket. Mr. Lampier out. Which object will have the most mass? A. A basketball. B. A tennis ball. C. A bowling ball or D, a gumball.